Hi everyone! Welcome to your art class! Last time we tackled about visual arts and culture. For today, we will continue to discuss about it. Now let's begin with the central region. Art in the central region is a combination of various local arts showing the way of life of local people. Artworks are generally created from local materials or natural materials, such as handicrafts in Antong province. In Ayutthaya province, a woven toy fish and a farmer hat that made of coconut leaves. Also, there well known dragon pottery in Ratchaburi province. Those are the local artworks that you can see on your screen. All central region local artworks are made from natural materials, such as coconut leaves, clay, bamboo, or any different kinds of leaves that you can find in your local area. So those are the local materials or local artworks from central region. Now let's move on to the northeastern region. There are many unique artworks in this region. One of the most famous is pansa candle carving used during the celebration of the Buddhist Lent. Artisans skillfully craft exquisite decoration on the candles. This is an example of exotic visual artwork that is based upon local culture and tradition. Candle Festival is the parade of giant candles going throughout the city. Each float represents a local temple a district, or an institution. The clothing culture in this region is simple. Women wear local wrap around skirt and men wear tie sarong. The people learn how to weave fabrics a long time ago and have developed techniques in weaving new patterns and designs. Today, the Northeastern Sarong is known worldwide. So the picture that you can see on your screen are those examples of the woman wearing their wrap around skirt and a man wearing a tight sarong. Next is the southern region. In the south, there are many interesting visual art products such as the making of nangtalong or shadow play characters. It's a beautifully crafted from water buffalo or sheep skin. Local fishing boat painting or collie boat has a colorful and beautiful pattern of people from south. And both decoration for chakra ceremony. Chakra festival of southern region means chak to pull and pra can refer to a monk, god, or Buddha image. For clothing culture, it is very common in the South to wear sarong. The fabric patterns and colors have been improved using the batik printing technique. And this is used to decorate both men's and women's clothing. As you can see, visual artwork is valuable. The art reflects the way of people's life from the past until the present day. It is important 
that the younger generations should learn, understand, and preserve these works for future generations. I hope you understand our lesson. And please review for your unit test next session. Thank you.